Hey guys, so today I'm here to do another period review video. Who's excited? I'm excited. Why? Because I discovered I actually found another cup that I truly love. Now this is actually a cup that I have already tried and I tried to review for you guys but then lost all the footage of and at that point I actually did not like this cup at all. I even said and I think a video afterwards that I had tried that cup and that I had lost that footage and that's why there wasn't a vlog or video that month and even said that like I didn't like it so it wasn't worth revisiting. Well, I'm here to say that I'm going to eat crow. Is that what they say? Why is he eating crow? Can I ask that? Isn't it crow? I feel like crow, crow sounds disgusting. So I guess, yes, I am eating something disgusting because I was wrong. After further trying this cup in the correct size that I needed, I actually like this cup. Now, obviously you can tell by the title of this video since I haven't mentioned it already, I'm talking about the Super Jenny cup. Now I was sent this cup a long time ago in this color, which this is the size one. I love generation me.com actually sent me this a long time ago, like when she sent me all the other things. Well, I was holding off on trying it just because I had other things I want to try. And then again, I did try it. I vlogged it and then I lost that footage. And then I was like, well, I didn't really like that cup anyways. It kept leaking on me and it was nothing special. So I'm not going to revisit it. Well, then Super Jenny themselves reached out and wanted to send me cups themselves. So they were nice and they actually sent me the size one and the size two. Now, with that being said, I tried out the size two this time. Their new size one, however, I did notice the packaging has changed. The box is a little different. I'm not going to open this one just because I don't want to waste it. I don't want to get it all, you know, desanitized and stuff. But if you can see inside that little box of wonder, that is a pink one. So the size one is now a pink cup not a light blue cup. So there is that change as well. Also again, the packaging, the box is a little bit smaller for both the boxes. The old boxes that I was sent to this old style one was in a bigger box. Here are my kids and my husband. Come on, Wyatt, hurry up. What's Come wrong on. with you? Why are you so cranky? Her belly hurts. She's oh, your she belly hurts. Apple. Yeah, go poopy. I'm vlogging. Oh, you didn't warn me about the dogs. Oh, there's it's a nondescript building with like no sign on it barely and there's dogs barking on the inside and I was like, I'm not walking in there. I told you barking. it was in the ghetto. <laughs> that place is scary. The guy was like, can I help you? He like came outside and I'm like, I don't know, what is this place? <laughs> but I bet our clothes are clean. It got great reviews. <laughs> He seemed uh, expensive though. He 30, was nice. Thirty some dollars. For yeah, this. that's how expensive stuff is, John. Uh -huh. When you have to I'm do it. Never washing that Dry clean. Again. So you're just gonna have it smell like your butt. Apparently. So with that being said, in that small period of time where I did receive this cup, there have been some changes to the brand, which I think. <laughs> now car alarms going off. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Which I think all these small changes have actually been great because I do like the fact that they changed the color of the size one cup to a pink color so that there is a very, very, very stark difference between the two colors. Because if my colorblind father saw these, he would think that they were the same exact color. Also, I like the boxes. I like that they're smaller and I think they're really neat. But anyway, so each one comes with a little uh, cup bag for you to store your cup in. And yeah, so I know what some of you guys are thinking, especially if you saw my last video on the was that the Maluna cup where I tested it and I even said, I admitted, I don't think this cup is the right size for me. I think I need a bigger cup. I know you guys are probably like, okay, Kelly, are you going to revisit the Maluna cup now since you're revisiting the Super Jenny cup, you know, since the size was wrong there and the size is wrong here. No, I am not going to revisit the Maluna. I still stand by my review of the Maluna, which was, I don't really like that cup because of the material that it was made out of. Regardless if that cup would have fit me, which I said in that video as well, regardless of if it would have fit me or not, it still was not melding correctly to the inside of my body. It was not retaining the shape that I wanted it to retain and it just was not a good fit for me. I did not like the material. A lot of you guys mentioned in that video that it was made out of a TPE instead of a medical grade silicone or something like that. But I don't really care what they're made of as long as they're medically safe for me to use in my vagina and all of that. All I care about in regards to reviewing a product and telling you guys how something works is how it feels and how it cooperates in my vagina, which, which that thing made out of the TPE material did not cooperate. So I will not be re-reviewing that cup even in my right size. I'm just not a fan of it. I am not a fan of the material. This, however, like I said, I did revisit and I'm happy I did because this is now one of my favorite cups.
Sorry, had to pose there for a screenshot. All right, so if you guys wanna see me try out this cup, I guess I kind of ruined the end of this video in regards to if I like the cup or not, but if you wanna see me using the cup, you know, and all of the blood, I do show blood. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I show you my period blood. I also have a little bit of added treat in here. I, for some reason, was feeling real feisty and poured my blood onto a pad. Why? Because, <clears throat> Why not? If you don't want to see that, skip to the end. I'll leave a link underneath this video for you to do that directly so you can skip all those bloody details. Uh, but yeah, I will talk about more at the end of this video, which might be repetitive to some of you if you watch those other clips. But I will kind of repeat and go over for those of you who don't want to see the bloody details of what I thought exactly of this cup and why I liked it so much. So it is, I don't know what day it is. It is... March 24th, it's 6.24 p.m. I'm on day one of my period. I started this morning, um, but I'm starting this review a little bit late in the day just because I've been busy, but the whole purpose is just to see how much blood this cup can catch. So I feel like I can do that at any point of my period, right? During the first day of my period. So like I said, I am doing the Super Jenny and we're gonna go ahead and put it up there and see what happens. So I just went to the bathroom. I'm going to do my standard punch down fold. This is just the one that works best for me. At least it usually does. <laughs> and that's what it looks like. Da 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 da. And let's just uh, get it on in there. Okay. So that, oh, let me wash my hands. Hold on. <laughs> So I just want to mention that every single time that I put a cup in or I take a cup out or I go to the bathroom or anything like that, I always wash my hands. I don't always say that in my videos though and I don't always like show that. I edit that time out. So if you ever see me like stick my fingers in my mouth or in my face or in my hair or anything like that, like my hands are clean. I'm either using the hand that I didn't touch my vagina or the cup or blood with or it's a clean hand that I just washed. So I just want to put that out there because as I edit videos, I'm like, man, if people People thought that that was the same hand then I would be kind of grossed out too but don't worry I yeah it's either a clean hand or non-used hand but anyways that actually opened really really easily it went in really well because of the stem being so little um, I don't feel it at all and I can honestly say I can't even feel the cup inside of me right now like I can't feel it at all which is amazing considering it's on the bigger size um, yeah, I can't feel it. So uh, I'll give it a few hours and I'll check in in a little bit. It's nine o'clock, tired. Having a little bit of cramping, not quite sure if that's just period cramps or from the cup, but um, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then we will pull this out and see where we're at. All right, as you can see, there is some spotting on my period underwear. And there's definitely like stuff when I wiped. So let's see how full the cup is. Okay, so this is like two and a half hours worth of blood right there. It's actually pretty decently clean on the outside compared to some of the ones that I've pulled out before. Not a whole lot of blood though. Like I mentioned, my period's gotten a lot, lot lighter since I've been on Endovan and since I've, since I've switched to all natural products and every month it's always different. Um, I used to bleed very, very heavy, very, very heavy because my endometriosis and my PMDD. Um, but like I said, since Endovan and being on all natural products, it has not been bad at all. If anything, the cramping is the, the thing that I worry about the most, not bleeding, which has been really, really nice. Um, so this is very, very little. Pretty pleased with that. Yeah. It's actually 10.30 in the morning. I've had this cup in way later than I should have, but I just like slept in and did all the... <laughs> just, I just slept in. I overslept. Um, you should never really leave your cup in for more than 12 hours. Let's just say that. I've had mine in now for 13 hours though. But again, I think that just goes to show how awesome cups are and period panties are because I used to never be able to sleep in when I was at my heaviest. Um, I had to change my overnight pads twice during the night or I would leak up the back of them. And even then I would sometimes leak up the back of them. And I had to change my tampon twice a night as well, like a super OB tampon. So, um... That just goes to show how nice cups and period panties are is because even at my heaviest with the cup, I could still like sleep in and feel comfortable and know that I wasn't gonna leak anywhere. So, all right guys, so I had just a tiny, tiny bit of spotting in my underwear that's pretty much dry, so I don't think it was recent spotting, but that is how much blood was collected. 
um, very dark. When I was at my heaviest, probably would have filled it like up to here between um, checkups and stuff. Like I, I don't know. I cannot tell you guys how amazing it feels to not have as heavy of periods as I used to. It was really depressing. I would sometimes stay home from school. Um, I would always have to carry like this huge arsenal of pads and tampons and all those different things starting from fourth grade. Like I was the only person in my class who had started her period for a long time. And then to have this bleeding issue on top of that was really like overwhelming at such a young age in elementary school. And you know, junior high, I bled out in the cafeteria. Like I didn't realize I had like bled so much. I stood up and there was blood all over my pants all smeared over like the lunchroom like chair and then I had to like run to the nurse's office and go home like it was really overwhelming you know living like that for so long from such a young age so the fact that I'm having like reasonable periods now is just like amazing to me like absolutely amazing and like I said all natural products are one of the reasons why so um, that's a really good overnight period for me and this cup actually did really really well I feel like I really got the suction right yesterday and it was comfortable I didn't have any issues and I don't know I like this cup all right guys so it is about 2 45 3 o'clock so it's been 10 30 11 30 12 30 1 30 like four hours thought I would check in because I have to go to the bathroom I'm gonna pee first because I gotta go pee. <laughs> All right, so I have a tiny bit of spotting that looks somewhat fresh on my new period underwear. There's definitely stuff on the toilet paper when I wiped, but you know what? When I wear regular tampons, even when I'm not bleeding heavily, I still have that issue anyway. So like I say, I still prefer the cups. So because I basically shown you guys everything anyways, um, I thought I would just show this aspect of taking out the cup. So I do have a lot of snot, as you can see. I call it snot. It's just you know, the, kind of that mucusy um, stuff that comes out. Here's just have some blood at the bottom. This caught it. Like when I pulled it out, it was stringy, so I had to get some toilet paper to kind of like, you know, collect it so it doesn't like fall on my leg or fall on my underwear on the floor or anything like that. Normally, when I take out my cup, it's in the shower. Um, and in the morning and at night, I don't usually do this many check-ins. <laughs> That's what was nice about having my period off camera for a couple months was I didn't have to keep doing this. Like I said, I would just leave the cup in throughout the whole day and then, you know, empty it at night and in the morning and that was it. So I didn't really have to deal with this like mess. It was just in the shower. So anyways, um, but that's what I would suggest is if you're in a public restroom or anything, have some toilet paper on hand immediately for when you pull the cup out just in case there's like snot that comes out with it. Cause like it was like pulling out like this, you know what I mean? So anywho, just, thought I would share that. For a lot of you guys, I know what you're thinking is that this is not a whole lot of blood. Like, oh, I bleed way more than that. I wonder if I have. So real quick, I just wanted to show what blood in a cup versus blood on a pad would look like. I, thought this would, I think this will be a fun experiment. I use the word fun loosely. Okay, so here we go. This actually is interesting. I didn't even think about this, but I should have done this with my nighttime blood. All right, so this amount of blood doesn't look like a lot when it's collected, but then when you pour it, this is actually like a for real period commercial for sure. So let's just pour all the blood on here. Wow, this is the most like, I don't know why this is more scary to share online. <laughs> Oh my god, what am I doing? I've lost my mind. Okay, obviously I couldn't get it all out. But so let's pretend that's the period. Then let's also pretend, I'm gonna use this because this is an absorbent. We've sat in our period all day long. Blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this on camera. There we go. That's what you would be sitting in. That's what you would be sitting in. As you can see, it is dark. It's like absorbed into those areas, but then you still have all that stuff on the surface that's wet and icky and droopy and stuff that you're sitting in. So I just, you know what? Cups are just the way to go. They're just the way to go. That amount of blood, it looks way more than what was in the cup. So just keep that in mind, okay? Still not a whole ton of blood. Soaked all the way down. Look at that. Still not a whole ton of blood because as I mentioned, my period's just been getting lighter and lighter since I started using all natural products. But if you're somebody who bleeds in a pad, it seems like a lot more than if you are actually just bleeding into a cup. Also, I wanted to point out, look, it's still not absorbed in. You still have that wet surface on the top. And then if I take a clean toilet paper, this right here, all that mucus and stuff like that right there so that's going back on your vagina that's what you're sitting in 
you know? That just doesn't look comfortable. Does that look comfortable to anybody? Doesn't look comfortable to me. So there you go. That was a fun little uh, Bill Nye type experiment. Oh, I still cannot believe I just did that. <laughs> like I said, I wish I would have had more blood. Like I wish I would have used this morning's blood to do that pour test on the pad because I think it would have been more beneficial because I had more like two to three times more blood. But I think that just showed accurately why cups are way more comfortable than using like standard like disposable pads because you're sitting on that stuff and that cervical mucusy type stuff that stuff did not absorb into the pad it just stayed at the top and then came off on that tissue you know so even period panties i don't think are super comfortable to wear on them on their own during heavy periods because even then the mucus doesn't absorb into those underwear as well it just sits at the top and then you have to wipe it off when you sit down so I just think cups are just the way to go. They're way more comfortable. They're way better for your body and the environment and all of those things. And honestly, that is the way a real pad commercial should be. They should be using real blood in my opinion. Because as you saw, there's so many more factors in that stupid fake blue liquid that they use as period blood on commercials. There's the mucus, there's the density of the blood. There's just all these other things, you know. Anyways, I'm actually glad I did that. Even though I'm still really embarrassed and a little unsure if I will post that segment of this video, I'm glad I did that because that's the first time I've actually poured blood and watched it absorb and watch it sit on a pad too with without using it on myself, so yeah. Okay, so as you saw, I loved this cup. I really, really did. I thought it was extremely comfortable. I thought it was very easy to use. It opened really nicely. The material was really nice. It cleaned really well. Everything about this, I really, really liked. I had minimal leaking. If anything, it was just the spotting that I normally get with every other cup I've ever used. And that, again, I think has to do with just, you know, the blood that was already outside of my vaginal walls, you know, that's falling downwards. I mean, you put a cup up your vagina, it's not like it's a brush and it like wipes and cleans the walls as it goes up and takes all that blood away. It just goes past the walls and sits up there to catch new blood. So all that old blood that's already on the walls of your vagina is gonna, vagina, <laughs> is gonna come down uh, somewhere and that's gonna kind of spot or make a little bit of mark when you wipe or be in your underwear. So that is why I always suggest either wearing a backup cloth pad or what I like is period panties, which I will say, and I, I should talk about period panties more. I think I want to try one more brand so that I can do like a period panty video. Uh, but one brand that actually did send me products a while ago, which I've been using for the three months has been Modi Body, Mod Body, Modi Body. And they're from Australia and they're actually an amazing brand. I love their underwear. I will talk about them more in a future period panty video. If you guys want me to do like an overhaul or overview of all the period panties I've tried, give this video a thumbs up, comment below. But I will do that for you guys because I believe we will see. Dear Kate said they were going to send me some. They've also said that before. Crossing my fingers, we will see. But I will. I hope to have a video kind of showing you guys and talking about all the different period panties I've tried and which ones I like, which ones I don't, why I don't like them, blah, blah, blah. You guys all know I don't like Thinks Underwear. Everybody's on that bandwagon because they're like the new and exciting thing. But you guys, if you've been with me, you know I ain't a fan of them. But anyways, let me know. But that's why I always suggest wearing a backup is because there is going to be some leaking. There is going to be a little bit of something there's gotta be a little bit of something. So I really like this cup though. I didn't have any issues as you guys saw. It caught everything, again, was comfortable. I had a little bit of cramping on my cervix at the first like hour, but I think it was just my, I just think my body was just getting used to it. Now if the cramping would have continued for a long time, like it did with that Intimina like compact cup, I would have gotten, I would have been done with the review very fast. The Intimina compact one, as you guys remember with that video, I couldn't even finish that review because it was just like, crushing my cervix. It hurts so bad. So um, this though, only a little bit of discomfort right at the beginning, but that went away. Um, I didn't have any weird bubbling like I did with the Maluna. Nothing to write home about, honestly. Like it was just a all around good cup. I really, really like this. If I were to place it in order with all of my other favorite cups, it would now probably take the place of, oh man, that's hard. I love my Femi cup still. That one though I don't use every single time. Sometimes I just like a good old regular cup. So Femi cup and the Schoon cup would be tied for first. Then Lunette and the Super Jenny would be tied for second. And then third, or let's say honorable mention, would be the Diva cup. 
that's a like low like I don't really want to use that but if I had to use it I would so but yeah it's definitely made it into my top rotation now I really do like this cup so I would highly suggest the super jenny cup for anyone looking for something that works for them this is a size one like I said here's a size two there is a little bit of a difference obviously the width is a difference the length and the body itself and yeah I really really like this cup I also like that even though it was a bear cup I didn't have to cut off or deal with the pull tab thingy it's because of the shape it's not bulky or anything like that it was really comfortable in between like my labia and all of that like I didn't feel it or anything so anyways I would highly suggest this for anyone who menstruates who needs a, a cup I like it so I don't know why I'm doing that I just feel like I should. It just feels right. That is that. There is my review of the Super Jenny Cup. Thank you guys for suggesting this and just kind of repeatedly hounding me about it <laughs> because I'm glad I revisited. I'm glad that Super Jenny sent me the correct size and I'm glad I was able to try it out for you. So yeah, there you have it. Thank you Super Jenny for sending me those cups. I really appreciate it and thank you all for watching as always. If you enjoy the period cup and period product series please make sure to give this a thumbs up i don't make these videos for myself i make them for you so let me know if you like them subscribe if you want to see more videos i try to upload every two to three times a week not necessarily about just periods because that's just one facet of my life um, i upload about anything and everything mostly beauty lifestyle kids parenting product reviews Basically my entire life is what I kind of post about. But anyways, if you want to see more, subscribe. And I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye!